That is a shell of a DBRH. They shed their shells. And that was a male. And you can tell it was a male because the males are slimmer and their wings go over the whole of their body. Now, we did just lose the video. Okay, here, that is a female. There we go, did you see her? That is a female. You can tell she's a female because she's got short, stubby wings. Okay, what we got in here? Lovely, lovely roaches, as you can see. They're all hiding, they're all lovely. This is a nice little colony. Um, like I say, it's still getting very much established. This colony is about a month old. There you go, you can see a male. That's a male, he's longer, he's, he's got, they've got a narrower body and their wings cover their entire body. Uh, there you go, that's empty. And be careful how you stack your egg crates, otherwise they haven't got enough space. Okay, so what else do they need? Now, they eat all sorts of things. Basically, your dubias will eat whatever your dragon eats. Down here, I'll go into in this corner here, I'll talk about this stuff that's in the bottom, right at the bottom there in a minute. Right, what have these guys got? They have got water beads. The reason they've got water beads is they drown in standing water. And they've got just porridge oats at the moment, to be honest. Um, in the past, I've given them ground up dry cat food. Obviously, the thing with that is it's full of protein. So they chomped on that, they loved that, they did. And uh, we basically uh, now given them some porridge oats. Um, obviously, the big thing about putting in fruit and vegetables and stuff like that is you have got to watch out for mold. Again, make sure you haven't got too much water, as mold will kill these guys. Basically, just let, let them get on with it. And really, that's about it. Um, there are videos on YouTube about how to size them. I spoke to one of my friends yesterday, and she said to me the best thing to do. Is to use a bucket, and what you yes, use a bucket and to use a flower pot. Flower pots have holes in. The bigger the hole, the bigger the dubia ropes that can't go through it. So you keep your bigger ones for breeding. Your little tiny ones and the medium-sized ones all drop through the hole. They're the ones you're going to feed. Little tiny ones you want them to get a bit bigger, so you put them through another flower pot with a hole in. That way the medium ones get kept. You put them in a separate container, they're your feeders, and your little tiny ones you put back in the colony and they become your breeders. So there we go. Very brief uh, introduction to dubias. Uh, it did cut off halfway through. Hopefully I'll be able to splice the two videos together. That's too technical for me. Keep watching. Enjoy.